Hurricane Florence has just become Tropical Storm Florence. Still a slow moving nightmare, though, dumping this massive amount of rain and battering buildings and towns and land for hours on end. We, in fact, we're now uh, over 24 hours in and no sign of it letting up. Right, let's get over to Ben. Some new data just came in, Ben. Yeah, this is the five o'clock advisory. We can call it a tropical storm. I'm sure everybody down here is calling it something with four letters that we can't <laughs> repeat on TV. But it is a 70 mile per hour sustained wind right now. That is not the issue. It's the amount of rain and the slow speed. In fact, that latest advisory has the storm slowing down even more uh, to about three miles per hour on the movement. Look at this. This part of North Carolina, this was the first to get the rain yesterday. And look at the rain still coming down there around Beaufort, heading up towards New Bern. By the way, this storm officially made landfall at about 715 this morning near Wrightsville Beach. Just an average accumulation of a foot of rain there, and we have reports inching over 18 inches right now, and that was as of 11 a.m. this morning. As Florence continues its trek along the coast, the worst case scenario is beginning to play out in real life. Our Wendy Wolfuck is in North Carolina with the latest. Wendy? Florence continues to crawl along the Carolina coast, bringing with her relentless wind and rain. Florence's ferocious assault on the Carolina coastline started overnight, battering everything in her path. Oh my gosh. Delivering a direct hit to Wilmington and its surrounding beaches as the eye came ashore just after 7 this morning. But it's the rain and storm surge creating the biggest threat to life as the slow moving storm dumps rain measured in feet, not inches. This is something that we have not seen before this much rain, a hurricane staying on top of us for this long. Inland flooding, the greatest concern. One forecast shows a thousand year rain event. In the riverfront community of New Bern, those who did not evacuate were quickly overtaken by the rising Noose River. It was horrifying. Just wondering what's going on and and where the water is going to go and how high it's going to go and how we are going to get out. Swift water rescue teams brought hundreds to higher ground. Right. We got you. Across the region, National Guard teams already moving in to get people out. Everywhere you look, trees and power lines are down. Debris litters the landscape. But it's the inland flooding that poses the most immediate threat as Florence continues to dump torrential rain across the area. We can confirm at least three deaths directly related to Hurricane Florence. Sadly, a mother and her infant were killed when a tree fell on the home they were in. That's the latest here in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm Wendy Woolfolk. Now back to you. You know, the one thing we don't talk about is how much rain this area had picked up prior to Florence. So you start stacking this stuff on top of it. It's not going to take a lot of wind to push right. even more trees over. And we've talked about all the winds and the swirling, but the storm itself is what just three miles an hour. Three miles an hour. It's like a so leisure walk. Just, yes. <laughs> you could just, outwalk just the rolling storm. through. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ben.